Happy Monday, everybody. Welcome to Time and Money Well Spent. It's a beautiful Monday morning up here in the Pacific Northwest, and we're going to talk about Hilton. If you haven't been on the channel before, just go ahead and uh, like and subscribe, and hopefully you see value from this stuff. We're all about sharing information that you might not have had before, and hopefully growing as a community. And if I provide value, like, subscribe to the channel, and hopefully we have more stuff out there for you. If there's stuff that you're not sure if we've provided before, or if there's stuff that's definitely not out there that you want me to cover, please leave it in the comments. I try to engage with as many of my followers as I can, and uh, hopefully we make it a little bit better together. So let's get into it. So, Hilton. So, as you can see, I have it broken down here into the different tiers. Of, of These are some of their properties. So, I'll just go through it real quick. So, uh, my, so, personally, my favorite is the Tier 3, the upscale tier, because I feel like you get the most benefit um, for the best reduction in cost. So, um, but I'll go through it from the bottom to the top. So... Tier 5 is down at the mid-scale and the timeshare stuff. And there's even a couple that are below that, I believe, um, that aren't on here. But they're okay. Uh, the timeshares are nice. Um, and there's some of these smaller hotels that Hilton does. They're okay. Um, they earn good points. They're affordable. And I would say that on the lower end, you get treated a little bit better at Hilton than at Marriott and IHG, in my opinion. Um, at least that's been my experience. Then, uh, tier four, you got the upper mid scale. So that's motto Hampton Inn suites, home Two suites by Hilton. Now, a side note in this tier, I personally like home Two. I stay there quite a bit in Arizona. They get treated really well. The rooms are nice. It definitely outperforms being tier four status tier three. Again, my favorite. I love double tree. So, and the tapestry collection's not bad. So, you this you got that, Hilton Garden Inn, Homewood Suites. Something to note is this Tier 3, you actually end up getting a few extra points when you stay in this tier or above than you do in Tier 4 and 5. So, Doubletree, in my experience, I've gotten the most upgrades to suites in this category uh, for free um, at gold. And at, when I was gold status, for example... I've gotten one bedroom, two bedroom suites, even though I'm only supposed to be upgrading to an executive level regular room. So Double Tree is I is one of my favorites, um, but that's tier three. They're fairly nice, and tier three and above all have suites, like king suites, separate living rooms, all that kind of stuff. Okay, then tier two you have your upper upscale. These are fantastic. Um, you pay a little bit more than you do for tier three, but they're really nice. Occasionally you can find them the same price as tier three. So, and some people would argue that double tree is on the edge of tier two and the embassy suites is on the edge of tier three. So, uh, I think it probably depends on the location, but tier two is canopy, the Hilton branded one, curio and embassy suites and hotels. So, um, curio, there's one really good one up in Bellingham. It's very resort um boutique looking kind of place it's very nice um th again they're really nice their um, upgraded benefits at these are typically a little bit better and your food credit um if you're a high enough status is actually a little better here as well then you got the top tier your waldorfs your lxrs conrad signias these are expensive <laughs> Um, there's not very many of them in each place, but if you get the opportunity to stay at one, they're amazing. This is where I would use, if you earn a free night, this is the tier that I would use it in, uh, because these are typically very expensive per night, but also very, very nice. And even the basic room feels like a suite in some of these lower tiers. So, um, anyway, that is kind of their tier breakdown, but, um, and this, this is just kind of goes over some of what they have. So 
Something to remember, they have almost 5,000 properties now. Since this has come out, there's more. Um, they're not a small brand, you guys. I get that Marriott has more because they merged with Starwood. But anywhere Marriott is, typically you'll find a Hilton. Uh, sometimes there's an exception, but sometimes that goes the other way too. There's places Hilton is that Marriott's not. So they're in 104 countries. I've seen them in Bahrain. I've seen them in Belgium, France, England, Ireland, all the way down in Australia. I Like, they're everywhere, you guys. And in my perspective, they're fantastic. So, again, you'll see when at, towards the end when we go over the actual rewards program and compare the different um, levels, silver, gold, and diamond, you'll see what I mean. I personally feel like their ability to get the top status is much better than other brands. Um, the only one that I would say might be an exception is Hyatt. Um, but again, not the same availability as Hilton. So anyway, um, hopefully you guys see value in this, but I have found a lot of value in Hilton. So their honors program is one of the better ones. Um, the only one that in my opinion, rivals it a little bit. If you're not talking about locations, just about the program, Hyatt has a pretty good one because of how they value points. So um, anyway, we're going to go ahead and get into it and we'll start going over each of these individual cards. The honors card here gives us 7% back when we spend it at the Hilton properties. That is not only the charge of the room, right? It's this is food. This is incidentals this is everything at the hilton property if you're staying at a resort this includes stuff like the spa stuff like um tennis courts all that kind of stuff okay then it also gives us five percent at some, in some pretty fantastic categories so restaurants grocery stores gas stations so the thing to remember there's only in the u.s and also um, the other thing to remember is this card is the only one of the three that has no annual fees. So if you don't like annual fees and you're one of those people that's like, I will only get cards if they don't have an annual fee, this is your keeper. Um, and the lastly, they get 3% back on everything else, which is pretty fantastic for a no annual fee card. And if you use Hilton all the time, it's actually a pretty fantastic everyday card. Then as you go ahead and you go down, um, you go to the surpass card. So the surpass card is their middle of the road card. I actually love their surpass card. So this is one of my everyday spender cards. It's fantastic. I think that the, my favorite part of this is the surpass card. When you hit 15,000, you get a certificate that basically pays for a night on a weekend at any Hilton property. That includes a $3,500 room in Bora Bora or a $100 room at the Hampton Inn and Suites. But as long as it's a Hilton property, it covers it. I like that benefit. Okay, so we get 12% back on Hilton properties instead of 7%. We get 6% back, so 1% higher at gas stations, restaurants, and grocery stores. And we get 3% on everything else, just like the other card. And just some to remember, this also comes with gold status. This also comes with no foreign transaction fees. It's actually a really good card, you guys. I had this as my everyday spender for quite a while. In fact, I earned a ton of rewards on this one. I'm a big fan of it. And I still carry it. This is one of the two cards that I carry every single day in my wallet. Then last but not least is my favorite of the three. And this is the big boy. No, it's not one of those cards that is cheap. If you don't like annual fees, this is not your guy. Because this one has a $450 annual fee. Here's the thing to remember, though, you guys. This card right here, with that annual fee, comes $500 worth of travel credits every year. That is an airline credit, and that is a property credit. So, what that means... Anything that's considered a resort. This includes double tree resorts on that list. All the resorts are tier three and above for the most part. But if you go to their website, you can get a list of them. <clears throat> There's a lot of them. Um, but you get a $250 credit there. And you get a $250 airline credit. So I chose Alaska for my airline credit. You have to choose an airline. But honestly, you guys, it's fantastic. That right there covers the annual fee. And essentially, just those two things alone. 
is like them paying you 50 bucks to keep this card if you would use those two credits. Um, also, you get diamond status automatically. That is their highest status. We'll go over that here in just a minute. That's a fantastic perk. You can get upgraded to like one bedroom suites for free. It's amazing. And I'll go over all the benefits of that here in just a minute. But now, and now you're getting 14% back. So we went from 7% to 12%. Now we're all the way up to 14% back at Hilton Properties. This also gives us 7% back in a different kind of category. This is flights booked with airlines, car rentals booked directly from specific companies. I believe it's Hertz, um, Enterprise, and there's a couple others. And also restaurants. 7% back at restaurants. That's a good one. So... Um, 3% back on everything else, just like everybody else. But the big thing on this, you guys, the Aspire card automatically gives you travel insurance. Just, this is like the Hilton co-branded version of the Amex Platinum card. It's honestly super fantastic. I absolutely love this card. So this is my MVP. I think it's the most overpowered co-branded credit card on the market right now. And I'm by far not the only one that says that mainly because that certificate that you can get if you get one and if you've been keeping up if you have this and the surpass you have the potential to end up getting two of those certificates which means two nights at any hilton property including some three thousand dollar resort hilton property that right there more than makes up for the fee i use this in conjunction with the surpass card because of the different categories i think this card's fantastic I like that it also gives you 7% back at rental cars, but mainly I use this card as my, every time I stay at a Hilton, I only pay with my Hilton with this card. And the diamond status that I get on top of that, absolutely fantastic. Um, if you guys have questions about any of these cards I'm covering, please leave it in the comments and let me know. Um, now here's how, when you compare the three, okay? Side by side by side. It goes no annual fee, $95 annual fee, $450. I think it's a fantastic group of cards. I think they're the most overpowered group of co-branded cards on the market. I think they're way better than the Marriott ones. So here's how I use them when you look at this chart. I use the Aspire card for hotel stays. And then I use my surpass card for everyday spending at grocery stores, at gas stations, at restaurants. And honestly, you guys, it's and I also use it for everyday spending because it gets 3% everywhere else. So I will say this, when you stay at a Hilton, because of getting diamond status and other things you can stack, I have seen times where I get almost 30% back on a Hilton stay by using the Aspire card. I, in the last month, have gotten about over 100,000 in Hilton points because of those two cards. If you know how to use it and you use it right and you use things like Rakuten, which I'll go over on another video, to stack these points, it's honestly fantastic. And I know right now, I believe, um, with the offer, Hilton gets 2% stacked from Rakuten, which if you're keeping up, that puts it at 16x on this plus the diamond thing. It essentially, for all intents and purposes, if you use the Aspire card, could end up getting you 30% back on a Hilton stay. That's fantastic. A $200 hotel room, instead of getting 200 points back, now all of a sudden you're getting 6,000 points from a $200 room instead of 200 points. That's beyond overpowered. So... Anyway, those are awesome. Let me know if you have any questions about those. I honestly think they're super, super fantastic. So I'm going to show you guys why the Aspire card pays off so much. So here's the chart, and it breaks it down. For every dollar you spend, how many points? Okay, so if you're just a member, you're not using the cards, you don't have silver, gold, or diamond status, none of that stuff, you will get 10 points for every dollar you spend. Not horrible. And this is it true in home too. 
you actually get more if you're at tier three or above, but I'm not going to go into that because that gets confusing. Um, and it just ends up getting you more points, basically. Okay, so when you get silver status, now you get 12 points, so 20% more. Gold status, now you're at 18 points. You're getting 80% more than if you were just a member. But look over here. Diamond status, you're getting 20 points for $1 spent. And then on top of that, if you look at the milestone bonuses, every time you stay 10 nights, you get another 10,000 points. And at 60 nights, you get an extra 30,000 points. So if we do the math here and we use Rakuten and we get 2x plus the 14x on the Aspire card. Okay, now we're at 16x. Okay, now on top of that, we're getting 20 points for $1 spent, right? So essentially <laughs> we're getting 20 to one, right? $1 spent and we're getting 20 plus the 16 points from the Aspire card. Now you're at 36, 36 points for every dollar spent. You do the math, you guys. You're like, instead of getting one point or whatever, you're getting 36 points. You're essentially, for all intents and purposes, getting almost 36% back with that Aspire card. But if you look, the Surpass card gives you gold status. It's no slouch either. Okay. But I'm going to show you guys the other perks. Obviously, if you look at this, if you're getting 36 points for every dollar spent, think about this. Think about if you pay $100 for a room, you just got 3,600 points, okay? Now, if you're staying for, say, three nights somewhere, most rooms are, what, $150 a night, something like that? To, let's just do two nights to make the math easy. Two nights is 300 okay? Now, if you're getting 36 points for every dollar spent, that means you're getting just short of 11,000 points for staying two nights at one of their tier five cheap hotels. Okay. Here's the thing. Tier three, I've gotten rooms for 18 to 20,000 points per night. That means you could stay at a tier three double tree and get an upgraded suite with your diamond status. And literally for staying two nights at a cheap hotel, get enough points that you could stay for four nights at a tier three for free on their dime. It's absolutely a fantastic program. You guys. Now, if you look at this over here and you look at how the things are broken down. Okay. The status so these are the things that I care about. Now look at silver status. You get this with just the base um, honors card. Basically, silver comes with the honors card, gold comes with the surpass, and diamond comes with the aspire. Okay, Diamond is their highest status. They are one of the only chains that gives you their absolutely highest status and benefits just by having the card in your wallet. Okay, so with the honors card, you get silver status. So you get every four nights, you get the fifth night free. Two bottles of water... Outside of that, honestly, you just earn points a little bit quicker. The other stuff isn't that big a deal. The late checkout on silver status, you don't get top priority on the late checkout request. So, I don't know. It's okay. It's better than a kick in the pants, you know. Uh, gold. Gold is where I started. The cool thing about gold, and my favorite thing about gold, is if you have a room on the executive level of the hotel or higher, you get free access to the executive lounge, which is free food, free drinks all day long. Okay. You, if they have a room available, that's an executive room, you can get that upgrade for free. If you're gold status, you just got to ask. And some properties are better about it than others. I've found that double trees do a really good job of offering that. Um, and complimentary breakfast, or if it's tier three and above, that becomes a food credit. I personally like the food credit better. Some people whine about, not getting complimentary food and don't like the food credit. I disagree. I can spend it how I want. If I want to go and have a couple beers with my friends at dinner time, instead of paying for the meal, I get that. I kind of like it better. Anyway, um, you also get a lot of bonuses. 
right? So you're earning points um, 80% faster with gold. Diamond. Diamond is super fantastic. Diamond, when you check in, they see that you're diamond and you get taken care of. You also get access to premium Wi-Fi that nobody else gets access to in the hotel. If you're a business traveler, that's fantastic. Second guest stay free. Late checkout. Late checkout. You get priority to request late checkout. I've gotten checkout as late as 4 p.m. before. It's awesome. And sometimes they'll even let you check in early because of being a Diamond member. Same thing. Everything else is pretty much the same. But when you go to get an upgrade on your room because your Diamond status and it's a free upgrade, you can upgrade to one-bedroom suites. But check this out. I've been to Double Trees and I've been to some of the Tier 2 hotels where they actually will give you a, a better suite even though it's not supposed to be free just because you're a Diamond member. I've seen it. It doesn't happen all the time, but it does happen. You just get treated better. It's honestly fantastic, you guys. Um, you get a larger food credit at Tier 1 and Tier 2. I think it's up to 50 bucks now for a couple per day that you're staying there, which is pretty fantastic. Um, whether, no matter what floor your room is on, you always have executive lounge access. The other huge thing that's totally, people don't talk about it, but they should, is the 48 hour room guarantee. You guys, this means that if I book a room 48 hours or more out, if they're full, they have to find a way to get me a room. When you're traveling for business, this is fantastic because no matter, it doesn't matter if there's a wedding in town, if there's a game, you always get a room because you're a diamond member. And remember, it's just for having the Aspire card in your wallet. And with the credits, they're basically paying you 50 bucks to have it, plus you get diamond. If you travel more than a couple times a year and you can stay at a Hilton, it is 110% worth it. Okay. And the other big bonus here is you can actually gift gold status to somebody else. So I'm actually currently thinking about gifting my mom gold status for when she tr comes to see me up here. It's honestly great. It doesn't cost anything. You can just gift it to them. So if you have any questions about that, let me know. I see a lot of value in diamond status. I'm somebody who really appreciates checking in and being treated above and beyond and getting all the benefit. It's honestly fantastic. It comes free with the card. Honestly, to me, that's worth the money even without the credits. So for you, it might be different. I don't know. Okay, so last but not least, let's talk about these promo offers. So the honors card is 70000 on, uh, and it's actually not that bad, you guys. The spend is pretty cheap. Um, you literally have to spend $1,000 in three months. That's easy. It's an everyday card. I spend that in gas, especially now. So... Uh, shoot, I drive a I drive a diesel truck. I spend $160 each time I gas up. If I gas up nine times in three months, I'm going to hit that bonus. So pretty simple, you guys. Uh, the Surpass card, great bonus, $130,000. It's only, comes with, it's only a $2,000 spend over three months to get it. It's honestly fantastic. Because uh, remember, you guys, at Tier 3, you can get a room for 20,000 points depending on when you get it. I mean, you're talking five nights for free on that bonus offer. Okay. Then the big daddy, the Aspire card is 150,000 points. And that's still only a 4,000 spend on three months. It's really not that bad, you guys. And honestly, the interest rates shouldn't matter because all of us on this channel, hopefully we're making good choices and never paying interest. We use it for every day like a debit card, but we pay it off before we get charged interest. Otherwise, we should probably be careful about using credit cards. But that right there, those bonuses, for me, I got both of these bonuses. So that's 280,000 points, almost 300,000 points, you guys. You're talking 12 nights at a Hilton for free just by spending money that we would already spend. Honestly, you guys, fantastic offers. Take advantage of it. One side note, on these bonus offers, if you are going to, you know you're going to apply for the Aspire and the Surpass, do the Aspire first so you can be guaranteed the higher bonus. Don't leave money on the table. Because even 20,000 points, you guys, 
that's a free night. That's a couple hundred dollars, right? Like, don't leave it on the table. Okay, so we went over all the cards. Hopefully you've seen value in it. I personally love the Hilton cards. I have made them part of my, what I call my quad fecto with Amex. And on another video, I'll go ahead and tell you guys all about that. But I personally love the Surpass and the Aspire. Again, the the um, Basic Honors card has its place as well. But I genuinely think they're fantastic. So hopefully you guys saw value in that. And uh, hopefully you guys learned something you didn't know before. Okay, you guys, one last thing. When you get these free nights, please, please don't use them at some tier four or tier five. Go tier one or better. Go to a resort. This, I'm including some of these pictures of my favorite one in Bora Bora. This room that I'm showing you right now costs $3,500 a night the last time I looked. Okay. This is inside of one of the suites that you can get. Okay. This is... The inside of this, yes, that is the ocean underneath that glass floor in the living room where you sit. And you can get this for free with that free night certificate. And if you've been keeping up, if you have the Surpass and the Aspire, you could stay two nights for free if you use them right and get two certificates every year if you want to. Okay, it is gorgeous, you guys. I mean... I I can't say this enough, like take advantage of the benefit. It's all about on our channel. It's all about improving your quality of life without damaging your pocketbook, right? Use your points on your other stuff for flights. So you don't have to pay for the flight and use those free night certificate and stay for two nights in a beautiful resort like this. Like, look at this beach. You guys, these little huts is what you just saw in that picture. That's where you would be staying. And then again, Here's the deck. The water is clear as glass. It's amazing, you guys. You know the name of this channel. Time well spent and money well spent, right? Why not let Hilton pay for you to go to this place instead of you having to pay and stay at a Hampton Inn? Nothing against Hampton Inns, but if I can stay in a resort in Bora Bora or I can stay in a Hampton Inn in the middle of Seattle, I can tell you what I'm going to choose. So take advantage of this, you guys. I promise you won't regret it. And there's a ton of other resorts if you don't like to go to the beach, if you want to go to the mountains, if you want to go someplace stateside, do it. Take advantage of it. Life is short, you guys. Don't wait till it's too late and your body's all broken before you start living your life. The thing about making good financial decisions, it enables us to level up a little bit and for us and our family to live a little better without it affecting our bills, without it affecting our pocketbook. Let's enjoy, and this is how life should be lived, okay? So I just wanted to include that because I think it's important. All right, you guys. Thanks for sticking around for that whole video. I really hope you got something out of it. I know I did. I actually have done a ton of research on it. I use them every day myself. And honestly, you guys, I've seen a ton of value in it. If you saw value in it, please share it with somebody. Put it on Facebook. Share it with your friends. Like and subscribe. It's all about growing the community so we can be better together, you guys. And I just, I hope you have a great rest of your Monday. And let's continue to make great choices, live life the way it's supposed to be, and let's make sure that time and money are well spent, right? And let's make it better together. Have a great day, guys.